Here we go. Coach Sheldon Harrison. There never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, all right. LDWMMAC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys. So, you know, uh, Dana White, when he came out, the uh, post fight uh, press conference for Nunez versus Home, you know, Dana White came out again and said that Chris Cyborg uh, turned down the fight. And, you know, and if I was Chris Cyborg, I wouldn't take this fight either, you know. So he was making it appear that, you know, she was afraid of the rematch and didn't want no smoke, okay. Now, everybody with a brain, and even people that are very irrational, they know that this isn't true, okay. Everybody knows that this is marketing 101. This is Dana White marketing 101. And, but it's not working, okay. It's not working at all. And basically, Chris, she took to Twitter. And, you know, Chris said, hey, listen, man, this is BS. You know it's BS. How are we going to have a fight and we hadn't even discussed a new deal? We ain't got no new deal yet. So, and you know, guys, this is what I've been telling y'all that, you know, fight promoters, they're not going to give you a contract for one deal. It's stupid. They're going to give you a multi-fight deal. Chris said, we ain't even got no contract yet. What, what are you talking about? It's BS. Okay, it's really BS. And you know, I agree with that. It's like, it's BS. But this guy, he's doing everything he can to tear this woman down. And it's like, it doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. And this is the tweet she said. She said, if we're supposed to be business partners and building trust so that we can work towards a new deal, let's stop the lies. And, you know, he is, man. Everybody know that he's lying, but we know why Dana White is lying. We know why he's lying. We know why he has to lie because he's trying to get Chris Cyborg to sign. Okay, he wants her to. Okay, he's saying what they offered her to fight. Well, you know, like, see, again, that's, that's up for interpretation. When you say you offer somebody a fight, okay, like what 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 are the confines of the fight? See, they're not telling us like what the fight, you know, what the fight entails. You know, what what are we getting out of the fight? Like what's gonna happen? Like Chris was like, it's BS. I don't even have no contract. I don't have a multi-fight deal. I don't have anything. Okay, and it's like people ought to know better. You got that one or two person that believe Chris really is afraid. They're not afraid. They both want to fight. Okay, now. We know what Dana White is, okay? He's a promoter. He has to lie. They lie. That's what promoters do. They tell lies, okay? They tell lies to make money. And the promoter's job is to pay the fighter as little as possible while paying himself as much as possible. That's the job of any promoter, okay? It is what it is, okay? That's, that's just what it is. But, you know, it's funny that Dana White would say this. You know, he'll say it now while Chris Cyborg got a fight, a big fight against Spencer, okay? And... I, I just don't think Chris need to spend any more energy, man. I think, you know, maybe she let Ray Ellaby, let Ray do it. Like, let Ray really take the front line on this and really start really exposing Dana. Like, you know, I, if, if I'm Ray, that, that's what I would do. I would just continuously put this man on blast so Chris can concentrate because I think Chris spending a lot of energy, you know, like with this guy, with this bald-headed bastard. She's spending too much energy. Because he keep lying, and it's like he's picking the opportune time to do it, isn't he? He's going to wait till Chris Cyborg gets in the training camp to start this crap. Y'all notice that? He's waiting, like, before, but Chris ain't had no fight lined up. Chris wasn't, you know, Chris lost. Oh, he was saying, well, you know, I don't even know why we would make that fight. Then he was saying, well, this fight makes sense. But see, he was nowhere near saying that Chris don't want the fight. Now, all of a sudden, Chris gets in the training camp. And now, now she's afraid. Now he's coming up with all these narratives, all these lies that just don't make sense. Dana is coming up with all this crap. He's coming up with all of this stuff. And, you know, it's, it's just, it's a damn shame, man. It's a damn shame. Like, Dana need to go. Dana White need to go. They, 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 they need to run his ass right up out the UFC. This dude, he does this to fighter after fighter. But, you know, the fighter on the right, we got to be careful. Because, see, Felicia Spencer is very, very hungry. She's extremely hungry. And she's hungry to the fact that she's trying to make a name for herself. And, see, these are the kind of people that you don't want to overlook because you're emotionally invested in what this bald-headed, whisker-biscuit, bald-headed bastard is saying, okay? I think, Chris, now we know the truth now. We all know the truth. We know that this guy, okay, is doing what he's lying, okay? He don't want to work toward a new deal. We know that this guy's a liar. Everybody on God's green earth know that this guy's a liar. Now, let's focus on Spencer. Because the fight got to be, you know, it can't be a decision. 
Chris got to go in here and knock Spencer out. And Spencer coming. She going to try to bring it. And she going for a takedown. We know that this is what she going to do. Spencer ain't trying to stand. She's going to come in and try to use her jujitsu. And she going to try to make Chris posture up on the ground. She's going to try to do that. Prepare. And I think Chris is training. And I think she is preparing. This stuff right here, man. It just don't make And Dana White is probably the worst bosses that you can have, man. He's, he's bad. Like, dude, what kind of boss go out here and destroy his employee? Like, what 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 kind of person does it? Like, you really want this person to be upset? You want this person? Do you, do you want the person to thrive? Because if you if she thrives, you thrive. Because if she eat, you eat. Like, I don't get it, man. I'm trying. I don't understand what this guy's. I, I don't know, man. This guy got to be one of the worst people. And he's the head of a, what, a billion dollar corporation. And this is the kind of stuff that he does, man. This is what he does. And it just, it's sickening, man. It's really, really sickening to look at this guy. But now, Chris got a Felicia Spencer problem. And that problem need to be neutralized. The problem need to be neutralized. We can't take no chances with Spencer. We can't, we can't even give this girl any kind of thought in her mind that she can win. We can't give her any, we can't give her nothing. We can't get Chris, look, it's on you. Dana White, he don't hold no power over you. You know your worth. Amanda know her worth. You know that you know at, 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 at the end of the day, you know that you really want this fight, and he know you want this fight. See, the guy got a lie because he's too stupid to tell the truth. Dana White is too damn stupid to tell the truth. I mean, I know you won't say it. You won't say it, but hey, listen, I'll say it because I'm sick of this guy. This guy right here got a whole nother agenda. He know he needs you for the pay-per-view. He know that you're the biggest damn draw, the women's draw. He know that you're all of this. Why lie? Why lie? Give the girl a deal that she can accept. You know she worth the money. You know she's, she put asses in seats. It just don't make sense. It makes no logical sense. And there's nobody else around Dana White telling him that this does not make sense. Pay this damn girl what she worth. Stop, 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 stop fucking with her while she in camp. Stop. Leave her alone. The, the woman need to concentrate. And people saying, well, you know, Chris, do, you know, Chris is still female. She female. And women handle emotions differently. I don't care. Chris, Chris, one of the toughest women on the planet, but she's a female. They handle stuff differently. And of course, she's going to respond. That's what females do. If it's a male, a man, probably he's going to cuss Dana out the first time and let it go and keep on going. But Chris, for this one, we got to let this go. We got to let it go now because this Felicia Spencer girl, she got the big head. She got the big head now. She thinking that there is a, a, a air of vulnerability in your armor. We can't get this girl no hope. We got to make this girl understand that you are Chris Cyborg. We got to make her understand that you Chris Cyborg and she is going to sleep. I'm done.